first of all, let me jump right on in. Um, uh, thank you for coming by the Collider, Outdoor, whatever we're going to call this thing. Uh, but secondly, uh, I absolutely loved, loved the first two episodes of your show. Thank um, you, man. Cool, thank yeah. you. We they, got more coming. Yeah, no, no. Everyone's rate. Like, I, you know when you keep on hearing that buzz, like, it's going to be, like, it's really good. But then you see it and you're like, oh, no, it's better than the buzz. That's your show. Nice. Thanks. Nice. Yeah. I, I absolutely loved it. Um, so for all of you guys, what is it like reading these scripts for the first time? Because it's like nothing I've seen on I any movie or any TV yeah. show. We quite often uh, discuss the fact that every time we get a new script, there is something completely perverse and shocking that absolutely floors us every single time without without fail. And then we, at first it's like, oh my God, I can't believe we get to do this. And then secondly, it's like, how the hell are we going to do this? This is this is insane. Uh, so yeah, this, this show is offering an audience something that they just w won't see anywhere else. That's for sure. Yeah, uh, for me, it's like, you know, usually scripts are kind of like homework because you got to study and learn your lines. And uh, it's completely the opposite on this show. Like, you look forward to the next script like you're dying to find out what happens to this character or that character. And, and you're always looking for that one moment that's going to shock the hell out of you. Every script has, has at least one. I mean, when I first read the script for the pilot, I, I, I wasn't even aware that it was based off a comic book. I was just like, someone took... So, yeah, you know, the real the real world as it is now, and they added superheroes into it, and and all of the implications that that implies, you know, uh, and all the collateral damage. Yeah, every episode has a shocking moment, but I just think on top of that, our scripts have really human moments as well, and that's what I think makes the show so special. I've got to say, our prosthetics department has done a lovely job of doing all the wounds and the cuts and the blood. So, yeah, it's a, it's a gory show. Uh, I want. I want to jump uh, also like you guys already have been blessed by a second season which is before before it even premieres they're like yeah uh, this is what we call good do you know what I mean because they haven't even looked at the ratings and said we have a winner you know w when did you find out you were getting a second season and what is it like to have that before it even premieres uh, we found out a few months ago and we were actually a couple of episodes into shooting it and for us it's just firstly it's wonderful to have a vote of confidence uh, from Amazon and secondly we're delighted that the fans that uh, devote their time and energy and invest in this show are going to be rewarded and they're going to get to see more so uh, it's a good thing all around. No, it's exciting. I mean, I think season two, I think season one is amazing. I think season two is shaping up to be even better so I'm just really excited for people to see it. Um, so I, I'm actually in the dark. I don't know. Ha you haven't started filming season two yet. When do you yeah, start? We have. We started. That's what I'm saying. We were yeah. already a couple of episodes in. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I had no idea. We all came from yeah, Toronto to secret. get here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Now. How it got kept a secret, I don't know because uh -huh. well, if we're you like were just shooting a, in the seats of Toronto. If you were like a level one Instagram detective, you'd be like, okay, Anthony has bleach blonde hair. Carl has a beard. <laughs> They're all in Toronto. They're going again. Well, that's that explains to Anthony's over there with with that hair, and I'm like, oh, it must be for a role. But I don't think I had no idea. Exactly, I had no idea. So, wh so wow, is it going to be eight episodes the second season? Eight episodes. That's correct. Wow. Same as the first. Yeah. Um, okay. So for each of you guys, what's a day from season one that will not spoil the show that you will always remember forever? Uh, okay. I there's a day on season one that uh, will go down uh, in infamy for me. I it was a scene with Haley Joel Osment. In a uh, in in a bathroom, <laughs> and I'll, I'm just going to leave it there. Got it. Okay. Um, oh, two mics. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, when we first find the female, she's all caged up, and um, uh, you know, filming the scene where she's getting out of the cage. Um, you'll see it on Friday. is a is one of my favorite days of filming from last year. Yeah, I would say mine was uh, uh, episode three when my character first gets introduced. Um, you know, I came in a little after these guys had already gotten their feet wet. And uh, it's been a long time that I've worked on a project that I felt like, you know, a kid's first day in school and you're nervous and you got butterflies and you hope that your performance is on par with everyone else's. And, uh, and you know, I'll never forget that moment. It's, it's good that after so many years and working on so many projects, I still feel that way, and this project made me feel that way. Ooh, okay. Ooh all right. Uh, for me, <laughs> the, the <laughs> best uh, thing about it was, uh, no, I think when, uh, when the character of Karen, the female, came on, 
he did something. I, it was very strong for me as Frenchie, you know, the whole thing changed for me, like, and I could play with it, and I had, like, yeah, so it was good, that game. I think uh, that something I'll remember forever was a scene that happened on my second day on set. Uh, I don't want to give it away too much. It's in some trailers, but basically something very traumatic happens to my character. And it was just such a surreal day and a, just like a, hey, welcome to this show, man. This is what we got in store for you. Uh, I know exactly what you're talking yes, about. Yes, you do, don't I'm you? I'm not going to reveal it, of course, but it was a holy shit moment when I was watching it. Yeah. I, I hadn't watched the marketing on purpose. So when that happened, I, my jaw was on the ground. Do you know, because you've never seen anything like that never in a show. Never have. And that was just like, I don't know. I, I've never... I just, I can't talk about it. I know, sorry, I don't want to yeah, spoil no, it for everybody. But that's amazing, you just avoided the trailers, and you were really? just, that's the best way to do it. it. No, no, I'm, I'm a professional. There you go. I, I, do you know I what I mean? Twice. Right, so real quick, because I, I, the second group I got to bring in, uh, who ruins the most Who ruins the most takes and why? Mm. I think it's a good question, actually. Good question. Pretty much all on point, I we're think. We're good, man. Yeah. We're good. And as a team, yeah. we're really good. Sure. That's, Who's giving I, you $5 to say that? Listen, I, I, I do want to say this. I love the fact that the minute we step on, on, on set, we kind of know where the other person's going to go. It's like a choreographed dance. And we do what our characters would do. And Except for one person who always ends up in front of my face and steals all my close-ups. <laughs> Not going to say who that person is. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> nah, man, Let's but... Get a little yeah, further in there. Hates Frenchie, so... <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. You need completion. Uh, yeah, but no, we're... Uh, I mean, it. Uh, all of us, I mean, it's, it rarely happens that everybody comes on set and they're, like, so mindseted on their characters and we, we love our characters and we love the story. So every day it's, like, right on. It's like the Michael Jordan Bulls, man. Yeah. Sure. Especially now in season two, I feel like we all just got even closer. And yeah. we're a whole, like, even us in the soups, we're just all a big, happy family at this point. Sure. My last thing, real fast who always gets it in one take? Carl. 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 He good. Okay. I'm not going to disagree with you, but uh, <laughs> not, not always, but I, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. There's a few one Carl well. gets us home early. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. I, yes, he does. I, all right. I, I really mean it. I could ask you a million other questions. Uh, when I see the rest of the show, I hope I can talk to you guys again. Uh, thank you so much for coming by. Thank, thank you, you, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you.